Dollar, um, he, he posted a, um, a, a sermon, which it seems that for the most part, people are saying he does not believe in tithing. And in fact, I did the very self same thing because to listen to the snippets or the news reporting, it looks like he, he, he's saying that he does not believe in tithing. It's not true. What, what um, Pastor Dollar is actually saying that he wants more tithing. He is a super tither. He believes that, 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 number one, you're not cursed if you don't tithe, but you won't get the benefits thereof. But tithing in itself, he's arguing, is not sufficient, that it's not going to get you where you, 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 want, you want to be, you, you want yourself to be. He's saying that there's no curse if you don't tithe, that the words in, in, in Malachi don't apply to us because we're now on the, the covenant of grace and, and not the covenant of of the law. So that if you don't tithe, he's saying God is not mad with you, but you wouldn't get the, the types of benefits that a tither does. He goes on to say that he himself is a tither and will always be a tither. But he's saying that the, the word in Malachi 3 is not saying that you're cursed if you don't tithe. He says if you don't give your tithe and your offering. And he's right. I give him his props um, for what he's attempting to do. He says he's on a journey to get better at, at this, but he says that he has stopped right here and he does not no, doesn't need to preach on us anymore because rather than preaching on, on tithe from a prosperity angle he believes that you must give your 33 and a third and here's his words you're gonna need the blood to hear this message today <laughs> seem like i've been on this journey of trying to figure this out myself and I have good news for you today. This is the last volume, the last teaching on this subject. I got it. Now, I, I want to start off by saying I am a tither. I'll tithe for the rest of my life. I believe in tithing. But for a moment, it's going to sound like I don't believe in it at all. Because I've got to attack that old way of thinking in order to bring you into a new covenant. We're not, we're not, we're not cursed if we don't tithe. But tithing is still in our best interest. All my life, I heard you are cursed for not tithing. But do you know that's not what the Scripture says? The Scripture doesn't say you're cursed for not tithing. The Scripture says you're cursed when you don't give your tithes and your offering. All right, so now what happened? Everybody started tithing because they said you're cursed if you don't tithe. The preacher forgot to talk about the offering part. So you gave your tenth, but then in Old Testament, the offering was like 20%. So, you know, add a little bit more to that. Let's say at least 33%. So now if you're not giving, the only way to out of this under the law is you got to give 33% at least to stay away from the tithe. So everybody that tithe and brag about it, you still curse with your tithe and self because you need to be a tithe and offering self because without the being a tithe and offering self, you still tithe. You're just halfway out tithing. You ain't fully out of the curse until you tithe and get an offering. So you've been bragging about, I'm a tither, I ain't cursed. Yes, you is because you got to have the tithe and the offering. So you still been cursed anyway if that's, if that, if that, if that's what you're living by. So it's hypocritical to say you are cursed for not tithing and just leave the offering out. When very clearly he said you curse when you don't tithe and offering. See, you told me I was robbing God because I didn't give the tithe. But was I not robbing him because I wasn't giving the offering? Because he told me I robbed God when I, when I robbed him of the tithe and. Either, I don't care how you said it. You were cursed when you, when, you, when, you, when you weren't tithing. Now you're tithing. You're not cursed. But I'm telling you now, you're still cursed because you're not giving the tithe and the offering. Give as you have made up in your mind what you want to give. And do it because you want to do it. And because you love God and you're grateful to God. That's how it's supposed to be done. The goal in giving should never be prosperity. Thank you.